Hi there, I'm Julie Ebersol, and I'm here with a video tutorial for EllenHudson.com, and this technique is called Glittered Copics, or um, at least that's what I call it. I'm not sure if that's what everybody else calls it, but <laughs> you're basically coloring glitter with Copic markers, and it's a beautiful effect, as you can see on these cards. I hope that you can see the sparkle. So basically, you're going to need certain supplies, and that is a wide format of Be Creative tape. I've got two and a half inch wide here. Some white cardstock, and you're going to need some micro fine glitter. It's very important that it be micro fine, and you can use warm or cool highlights, which is a translucent glitter, or you can use the micro fine white glitter. You'll need some peel off stickers, and you're going to need some Copic markers. And you do want to use Copic markers with the brush nib, not the bullet nib, and I'll talk about the reason why. The first method is to actually uh, open up the tape. And we're going to take that piece of a uh, white cardstock, and I just cut a piece, you know, just randomly a, a size piece that I could work on. And I'm just going to lay that down against the tape. So I'm coating one side of the paper with this adhesive. And then I'm just going to trim it off with my honeybee scissors. And I love these things. I finally got them, and they're awesome because they're non stick and Teflon, and it's great when you're working with sticky stuff. So then I'm going to peel off the aligner paper, and don't throw that away. I want you to save that because you're going to need it here in a minute. So I'm going to peel off the designs, and these come in all sorts of really fun designs, and um, I'm working with the black ones here, and they're very delicate, so I'm using my tweezers to gently uh, lift them from the carrier sheet, and I'm going to place those down against the adhesive. Now here's where I, I found that that liner paper was very useful. It let me burnish things or rub things down onto the adhesive without getting my fingerprints on there, and the, my fingerprints on the adhesive would probably prevent the glitter from sticking very well later on. So I want to be careful to kind of eliminate touching that adhesive as much as possible, and that's where that liner paper comes in really handy. So once I've got my patterns and designs on there, I'm going to put that on a piece of scratch paper, and I'm going to dump glitter all over it. And don't be alarmed by how much glitter, because most of it is going to get funneled right back into the jar. So it just occurred to me um, as I was doing this, like, oh my goodness, I got those uh, little stems there hanging off. So I'm just going to clip those off really quick and get them out of my way. And then um, just add more glitter again over the top until I've, I've got a coating of it. And then I'm just going to burnish it in to the adhesive with my fingertips. And this technique is called burnished velvet, this rubbing of the glitter into that adhesive. And you actually do at this point want the oil from your fingertips to work with you on this. So I'm just going to take my time and burnish that all in there and get the adhesive completely coated with glitter. And of course it will resist wherever the sticker designs are. And it almost looks like that uh, sticker design is embedded down into the into the glitter, you know, almost flush with it. And it's a really neat effect. So I wish you could feel it because it's very, very smooth. And you would think that the glitter would come off, but because it's microfine, it does not. It just sticks very nicely to that adhesive and you don't have to worry about it flaking off. Now, method two involves peeling off the liner paper, and then I'm actually going to add the glitter first before I add the designs. And there are kind of pros and cons with each of, of the methods. The first one um, was challenging because I had to try to put those sticker designs down while the adhesive was bare and exposed. And then I'll talk a little bit about why this design ha had a little bit of... Uh, challenge to it when it, when you use this method. So I'm just going to burnish the glitter, glitter into that adhesive just the same way I did on the first one, only I just don't have the sticker designs on there yet. Just flick off the excess there. And then I'm going to start laying down my stickers. And of course there's a whole bunch of different uh, designs on the sheet, and I love flowers, so that's what I decided to work with. And these fun little, I don't know if they're pansies or poppies, but they're really fun and I love the open uh, designs because it's going to work really well with the Copics. So I'm just laying that down and I don't need the adhesive liner um, now. I mean I can use it if I want to to burnish those down but I don't necessarily need it because the glitter is already on there. So I'm just going to press those down firmly, make sure they're in place, and then I'm going to start coloring with my Copics. Now I'm starting with my darkest color first and I'm just going to fill in where I want the dark shading 
because I want to take care of that aspect of it first because I don't want to overwork this glitter paper. And then I'm going to come back with the medium colored uh, marker and I'm just going to zoom in with the camera here so you can see me and I'm just using a gentle flicking effect. I'm just barely flicking across the top of that glitter and you want to blend the colors out but you don't want to overwork the paper and here's why that brush nib is so crucial is because it's very soft and flexible it's not hard like the bullet nib is on the other Copics so you want to make sure that you're using a very soft flexible brush nib and then I'm going to take the lightest color of yellow and I'm going to continue blending things out again very gently sweeping and flicking across and blending the two together but not overworking the paper now one thing I noticed on the second method was that uh, because the sticker designs were added last before I started coloring I did have some issues with bleed through going beyond the edges of the stickers onto the rest of that glitter sheet and so I realized that if I were to do this again I would prefer to lay the stickers down first over the adhesive and then put the glitter on and burnish it in that way because that seemed to prevent um, a lot of bleed through if I, tend, if I oversaturated the paper. But both methods work great. This one I had to come back in with my clear blender pen and kind of sweep the color back under the black sticker lines. So as you can see, here's the shimmer of those warm highlights. It has kind of a golden cast to it very very pretty and here it is on the finished card and it looks like I embossed these images or it almost looks like stained glass but see how shimmery and sparkly that is it is absolutely dazzling and it's so easy and it's so fun so I hope you'll give it a try thanks for watching